Thank you for joining and thank you for watching the rebroadcast. Today we are going to cut some drywall and I'm going to show you how to cut some drywall. So I'll show you a couple tips and tricks for you to do some drywall cutting at your home. We are going to cut some drywall today. And you can see we got this fresh sheet of drywall and it's silky smooth. So today we're going to cut it. And I got my GoPro on for the future course of the Handy Homeowner. Well, I'll give you a first person sh shooter view of how to do your homeowner home improvements by yourself. Well, I'll show you the quiet way and the loud way to cut some drywall. All right, my name is Brandon McGee, home improvement expert. And today I'm gonna show you how to improve your home with doing some drywall cutting. So if you got a piece of drywall and you're gonna put it on your ceiling, you're gonna first need to cut it. So we got our measurement and our measurement is 56 and a quarter. So we just line up the T-square right there with it. And then you can also use a utility knife and this will give you a straight line. And it's always helpful to keep your foot on the opposite side of the way that you're cutting. And then you're gonna to wanna to apply light pressure on the way down. And the whole goal is to score the paper so that way you can split the drywall easier. Because you see with just a small utility knife, we are gonna cut that. And then apply a light pressure to the back. And then you'll be able to cut the other piece to it. And you can see we still have the paper on the other side. So you can just punch your knife through and make sure it's sharp. And then you'll want to score the other side. Normally it's a little cleaner, but my blade's dog. So now we got our cut piece ready to go. And also, another way to cut drywall, is here's a scrap piece, and I'll show you how to cut an outlet in quick using two different ways. So say you gotta put in an outlet and you're like, oh, where shall I put my box? Well, I'll show you how to cut the hole in the drywall. So this is an example, so it's not going to be perfect. So you're going to want to get your measurements of how wide your box is. And also you should use a pencil if you plan on painting over it. But I'm using a marker so you can see the cut. Now the easy way is to get like a about a $10 handsaw. And with the $10 handsaw, it has a sharp point on it. What you're going to want to do is work the knife back and forth and slowly Cut the hole, which is that was just really boring. Like, who uses hand tools anymore? We're contractors. So this is the multi-tool. This is our friend. We like him. He's very friendly. So to do the same cut with the multi-tool, you just drop a red. That's a lot less work. And we'll just finish it off with the Oh yeah. And also they make square blades so you can get a straighter cut. But I was just showing you how fast it is with the multi-tool. <laughs> yep, that is annoying. <laughs> Alrighty, well, thank you all for joining on our drywall cutting adventure. I showed you how to cut a hole in some drywall, which was pretty cool. And I showed you a different technique to cut it with a utility knife. Thank you for joining, and if you like this, you can also go to brandonmcgee.tv and sign up for my future creation of the Handy Homeowner Course. Oh, thank you, Melissa. In my Handy Homeowner Course, I teach you how to be a handy homeowner and how you can improve your home with pro tips so you can get back to hanging out in your house instead of working at it. So thank you all for joining today, and I will see you tomorrow with another home improvement tip.